Okay guys, I just want to start this off with a thank you. I've achieved over 500 subscribers now. I thank you for that. It means a lot to me. I hope I can keep providing these videos to you for free and make you guys keep enjoying them and progressing on the Disney game and giving you any tips I can think of. There'll be new series that's coming out. There'll be a vlog of me and my brother called Twins Vlog when we go to Australia on holiday. So we've got lots of juicy content coming into this channel. So you need to stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. I wouldn't advise you hitting the bell button on my channel due to the way I upload. Because basically, if I'm out and about and something decent happens, I'll just do a video on it on an app or something. And then when I get home, I'll upload them in bulk. So you'll get spam. So don't bell notify on my channel but yeah so what I'm going to do today is talk about my buying cycle in this game so the set the scene for example you've woken up it's everything's reset and it's 10 a.m. right so the first thing I do is go into the market and have a, I'll have a look at what's in here I'll normally buy the character shards just because they're extra character shards and I've got enough gems. And then I'll go through here and buy everything. Because it's always worth having an extra badge under your belt. Because, you know, you need badges to level up characters. And there's no point of just focusing on five characters. You want to get your Colosseum team, you want to level everyone up. Because it gets to where I am now, I can't progress any further in the game. Apart from my level. But I'm just slowly getting everybody to purple free, just like in order, until they update it, then I can refocus on my main five. Because then hopefully I can progress through the campaign and stuff. Then when that's done, I'll always just press this across arrow here. And what that allows you to do is just go through every single shop in one go without swapping the screen. And I'll always do this because I can make sure that I've spent all my currency in all the shops that I need to. Right, so you'll see in a couple of shops, I do have a lot of currency. You shouldn't follow what I do here because it's not the best idea to do it. But I just don't really need to get either of these characters. Because it's going to be a very, 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 very long ride to get Judy the five stars. She is a good character. And to be fair, yeah, I might as well do it. I think about it because she is in a lot of friendship missions so every single day you can get about 15 a day if you've got enough arena shards go in and just buy because I don't I don't see the arena shop swapping because the reason they don't swap these shops a lot obviously this is my opinion it's not a fact but I, I believe that it's to do with you know the reason these shops are here so you earn to upgrade characters if they kept rotating characters out you'd be a bit peed off that you wouldn't because it, it, this is the easiest way to five star a character because before they updated the game i got nicked to five stars just from city watch because it was easier to get city watch currency and stuff arena and coliseum is a little bit different because it's a lot more difficult to get the shards but you know you, you get my point that it's worth getting five a day or maybe five every two days because i don't see these don't say a word with this i don't see the arena shop changing anytime soon because what would be the point of changing to two random other characters? I do believe that the Colosseum shop has changed in every other server apart from one. And it swapped Calhoun and Zerg, which is a, a very annoying for everybody else. But it swapped those two for um, uh, Rex and Eve, so you can get them in the Colosseum shop. But that's every other server but server one. So at the moment in the Colosseum shop, like I said, and I think that's a little bit annoying because it obviously means that you can no longer get Zerg shards easily. And Zerg is one of the, like, the most OG characters in the game. He's just so overpowered and he's cool. And then when you've done Zerg, you can go straight onto Calhoun and she's just as overpowered as Zerg. So having the, the swap of characters has meant that, see I was a bit concerned, so I'd stopped, I, I hoarded a few points. I was only upgrading the first character, which, which, I, which was Zerg, because I knew I'd be able to get him to five stars in a very short period of time. So then when I decided to go on to 
upgrade Calhoun. I had about 5,000 Colosseum tokens. And I thought, well, they've updated it for everybody else. They've updated it for everybody else. And you might as well just... I thought I might as well just go for it, get all my tokens spent whilst I can because she is good and she's in nearly every single friendship mission. But anyway, I was getting off, a bit off topic there. So then after I've bought my character in the arena shop, I'd never personally recommend buying anything else from these shops apart from the characters. And that's because you can earn everything else legit. And by that I mean you can't just go onto a level and get five selling shards. You need to, you need to buy them, so, but you can get everything else. I mean, absolutely everything else you can just get from playing. So you can make the badges, and there are a lot. So I'd always recommend getting a character shard. It doesn't matter which one. That's obviously your choice. I'd recommend Sully over Wally, but I've been enlightened to how actually brilliant Wally is. But Sully is mentally overpowered with that brick move where he throws three bricks. And I'm trying to finish Sully's story mode mission. So yeah, it's going to be a long road, but every single day, I earn about 520 in my new guild because we get so far in the super hard mode. So it is worth, so it's good for me because I can buy five shards a day, but everybody else it might be five every other day or every three days. And then I haven't bought anyone in the city watch shop because I maxed Violet out because city watch is the easiest one. So I always recommend you pick one of these characters and you stick with them. Mike is good, as you can see, I can level Mike up and I probably should be using my City Watch tokens on him but I'm afraid that City Watch could potentially change and I've got so many left up I don't want to get Mike to like, five off and I think the market actually just reset again there but yeah, by I think in the market Get the yaks as well and just do that every single time obviously you need to take consideration of gems but make sure just a quick recap for end the video thanks for subscribing obviously go through each one of these buy everything you possibly can be strategical if you really despise these two characters just don't buy them but i'd recommend you get violet because she's so vital to have as like an extra character because of her healing abilities shielding abilities i mean thanks for watching stay tuned to subscribe for more